For today's feature, I've been using some, you know, a little bit different than the norm. Most anglers tend to use pellets, worms and casters, things like that. But I thought I'd do, as I said, something different today. And I've been using sloppy ground bait. Feeding it in little tiny bowls. Here's the actual mix here. You see how soft that is. Basically, it's sort of like really, really wet Play-Doh in effect. So as soon as that hits the water, it breaks off into a cloud. It's fantastic for getting fish into your peg. It's very, very similar to, you know, like a method landing. They hear the noise and the fish actually home in on it. But obviously there's no feed there other than your hook bait. So the fish will home in on the noise, the ground bait breaks up, they see your hook bait and they nail it. It's especially good for fishing down the margins, you know, in shallow water. If you just tip that little ball in, you know, it lands with that nice plop in the water. Fish come into it and see your hook bait, which in today's case is a nice big expander. They see that, nail it, and that's it. Job done, he's on. The other way of fishing it is by feeding the little bowls shallow. Now, it's very, very important to prepare your swim first. So start off away from your shallow line, sort of like your six meter line or down the margins all the time keep feeding them regular bowls literally every 30 seconds no more than a minute you want to let by without feeding something and it's just that commotion of the balls landing on the water that's what attracts the fish so you're sort of like feeding a ball slapping it over three times waiting so there's you know that commotion going in but there's no feed whatsoever there's just your hook bait the fish see it and they take off with it it's a fantastic way of fishing one of the most important things to remember though is once you've actually hooked that fish Get it out of your swim straight away, make another little ball up and keep that feed going in. Because not only are you keeping fish in your peg, you're also preparing your swim for the next time you go back. So hopefully when you go back in after catching that fish, there's going to be a fish there waiting for you straight away. It's exactly the same thing as when you're fishing, you know, short. As soon as you hook to fish, get it out of your peg, make another little ball up. Just get another little ball right back in the swim, just to attract those fish that have been spooked out of your swim. Fantastic way of fishing, so give it a try. Sloppy balls.